So people, I am back with another Outriders video and today guys, I bring you this great method in building up those anomaly builds with this crazy scaling glitch thanks to a certain mod that stacks when it shouldn't. It will make certain anomaly builds so much better and so much more effective. So let's get into it. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. So firstly, credit for this find goes to Tony Untap, who hit me up showcasing this glitch. You will also see some of his footage within today's video, so credit to Tony Untap for this find. His channel, if you'd like to go check him out and show him some love, is linked in the video description. So this method is pretty crazy, it works in a way that shouldn't and to be honest it's probably somewhere down the line going to get patched. But for now you are free to use and experiment with this. Now believe it or not I still haven't really experimented with a pyromancer yet or to be honest a technomancer or even a devastator. But the footage you see on screen now thanks to Tony on tap you see gets his pyromancer's anomaly power upwards of 400k using middle tree by the way. I myself have tried this on my trickster and I'm certain I can get it over 500k, maybe even close to 600k if I take full advantage of it. So how this works is pretty simple. There are certain mods you can use which buff anomaly power. Here we stack up to 5 of that one mod and use another mod at the same time to buff it further. So the first mod you want to be using is no resistance against the fortified. What this does is increases your resistance piercing by 50% of your armor piercing value. So let me explain why this is important and why it's beneficial to have as much armor piercing as you possibly can on your build. Because basically, the way the other mod stacks, the more armor piercing the more anomaly power you get. And this is why. There's also another mod called Unstoppable Force, increases your anomaly power by 50% of your resistance piercing. So with no resistance against fortified buff in your resistance based on armor piercing, combine two mods and in reality your armor piercing will in turn buff anomaly power. So here is the trick, the unstoppable force mod actually stacks. So depending on how many pieces of armor you have this mod on, for each mod you gain increased anomaly power based on 50% of your resistance piercing and your resistance piercing is increased by 50% of your armor piercing value thanks to the no resistance against a fortified mod. And yeah guys, these mods do indeed stack with each other. And to prove this, although I don't feel I need to because you will see for yourselves how high anomaly power goes, but either way, if I switch out the exact same piece of boots which have unstoppable force on, if I take this off you will witness my anomaly power drop. Now with the way I have this set up on my trickster, you can in reality go way higher in terms of anomaly power by finding a piece of epic armor which has unstoppable force on it as its default mod then apply no resistance against the fortified to it. That way you can be rocking 5 times the unstoppable force mod which will make that anomaly power even crazier. I right now on my trickster have the unstoppable force mod stacked 4 times, same as Tony on taps on his pyro. So now it is the question of, what can you do to buff your armor piercing as like I said, the more you have, the more anomaly power you will end up having. Now what I will state is, armor piercing on weapons I do feel has an effect on this. As if you see, changing to a weapon without it, my anomaly power does indeed drop. I will state sometimes here when switching weapons out the game does go a little crazy with the numbers to fix this simply leave the inventory menu and open it back up. Now in terms of what you can do to your skill trees to buff armor piercing, well there's quite a few mods here. On my trickster there are many armor piercing nodes, problem is if you're going to use anomaly you want to go bottom tree so these armor piercing nodes don't really help but there are many different nodes here which do indeed help when paired with abilities which will buff both armor piercing and resistance piercing in turn buffing anomaly power or damage. These are obviously what you can see here. Also I have a build centered around this which I'm working on which I'll bring to you guys pretty soon. I'm certain I can get closer to that 600k anomaly damage on it with my trickster. On the Pyromancer there are nodes you can use to benefit this for sure and the same with the other classes I'm certain too. So yeah guys, if this is something you want to experiment with or have an anomaly build you want to make more powerful, use this method. I will state, you don't have to stack Unstoppable Force 5 times or even 4 times. You can stack it 3 times or even twice and you'll still see a buff to that anomaly power. 
because using it five times, you're obviously taking away from your classes or your builds uh, damage resistance. Basically, it's defenses. So yes, using five times the Unstoppable Force mod, yes, you will get insane anomaly power. But unless you're lucky with your rolls and have great defensive mods on them, you have to play it super smart in the later stages of the expeditions, i.e. Challenge Year 13, 14 and 15. But me right now on my Trickster, rocking four of these Unstoppable Force mods, I can easily get through a 15 because my anomaly power is just that much better. But yes, a build will come soon for my Trickster and what I'm using right now. But yes guys, experiment with this like I said, the Unstoppable Force mod does indeed stack with itself when you use the No Resistance against the Fortified. And because like I said, the No Resistance against the Fortified increases your resistance piercing by 50% of your armor piercing value, the higher the armor piercing you can get, the more resistance piercing you will get. And thanks to the stacked mods of Unstoppable Force, this increases your anomaly power by 50% of your resistance piercing. So it's just one big stack towards that anomaly power. And what this has resulted in now is basically, as I made a cyclone build, an anomaly cyclone build about two weeks back now, I am with this method getting closer to triple my anomaly power because of this stack mod. So it definitely works guys, experiment with it. I'm not sure how long it will be here. So take advantage of it while you can and I hope it helps you out. I'll leave you with a little bit of gameplay footage now of the damage numbers I am hitting. And this is without Venator's Knife. I could add Venator's Knife to this and double my Temporal Blades damage if I wanted to. I mean, there's a lot of work around you can do. And like I said, I will explain this in the build video as soon as it's finished. And you'll find that here on my channel. So subscribe if you're new around here and enjoy Outriders videos. I mean, there's not many of us still posting about this game because a lot of people are thinking it's dying. But I ain't giving up just quite yet. I do believe people can feel I've got something up their sleeves. But we will see in the near future, guys. But yes, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.